Hello everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we will be taking a look at the Android 4.4.2 KitKat update for the Motorola Moto G Dual SIM in India. The update started rolling out yesterday and you can see that we have updated to Android 4.4 KitKat. And there you have it, it's Android 4.4.2. Now let's get over some of the changes that have happened. At the bottom you can see that the navigation bar has gone transparent. At the top, the status bar 2 is transparent and the icons have become white in color. Same goes for the notification toggles. You have one more notification toggle for location settings, which you can turn or off from right up top. Now let's get back to settings and see if there are some changes inside. In display settings, you have two new options. First is pulse notification light. If you unselect it, your notification light, which is right there, would not work. And then you have a cast screen option, which is actually the same option, which was earlier called wireless display, but was not available on the Moto G. Well, that's pretty much it. Not major differences. Then you have cloud printing support, using which you can use your phone to print documents or anything you want, without having to be connected to one physically. So cloud printing now comes baked in. And these are only the major changes here. Rest of the changes are inside the hood regarding performance and security enhancements. Now many people are worried about on-screen buttons as they take up screen space. But with Android 4.4, you get immersive or full screen mode. So like that, the status bar as well as the navigation bar goes away. And that both of them are not visible. You can just swipe from the top to make them visible again. Very few apps have actually updated to this new platform. So it will take some time, but you will see most apps and games taking use of this feature. Next up is the phone dialer. It has been customized again, which you can see from right here. It incorporates a smart dialer option. And this time around, you have separate call history for all of your calls as well as your missed calls. You also have an option to insert pause as well as wait but these are rarely used. You can set the default SIM to use within your SIM settings. The app drawer hasn't changed much. Again, only the icons and at the top you can see that instead of blue, you have white color this time around. And the launcher too, there is no change here. So these remain stock as they came earlier. The majority of the changes are actually under the hood, which improve performance as well as stability of the platform. There's a lot more to cover on the Moto G, especially in the full review. Till then, you can watch its gaming review, unboxing, as well as USB OTG support before the Android 4.4 KitKat update. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to us. We'll be back with more. This was Abhinav Padak for Phone Bunch, signing off. Thank you, and have a great day.